Hi there, this video is from next week's Electrifying Static Weather Forecast UK 2021. If you like this video, please music, please please have thumbs up. So let's get on to the forecast right now. So about the upper global sea temperature today, the place you're interested today off the west coast of South America, upper global sea temperature, North Pacific Ocean, upper global sea temperature, upper global sea temperature across the North Atlantic Ocean, yep, yeah, up because of the north, uh, up the west coast of Africa, upper global sea temperature, and the Gulf of Mexico, upper global sea temperature. What's going on today, guys? Fascinating. So we have got a very moderate sort of weak La Nina across the equatorial Pacific regions right now, in the eastern part especially, and the western part. Definitely in play right this minute, guys. Proper La Nina, very strong one, I think, to be honest. And across the North at um, Pacific, uh, yeah, North Pacific Ocean, it's getting colder in the east and warmer in the west. And the North Atlantic is very warm at the moment. And there's no tripole across the North Atlantic Ocean, I'm afraid. So it's it's going to be an interesting winter. But I don't know if it will be a very cold winter across North Pacific. It's very um, dicey. It's very um, hard to be thinking on it. It might be towards the end of winter we get cold winter across North Western Europe at the moment. But it's all to play for. So that's my forecast at the moment across the UK for the upper global sea temperature. This is the forecast for the future, the 12 GFS model. This is high pressure, 20th of December. Talk about anticyclonic high, high pressure. Talk about winds coming from the um, south there, southwest, when we get to the uh, 24th of Christmas Eve. Um, quite mild southwesterly winds. All right, let's get from the forecast right now. Talk about this low pressure system clearing away, northwesterly wind. We've got this storm coming in that's going to hit the northwest of England. It's going towards Iceland, so that would, that would be a named storm for us for the UK. You've got basically southwesterly winds. Uh, when you get to the westerly, yeah, southwesterly winds, we get into the 15th, 16th of December. And you've got anticyclonic high pressure building, quite static weather, quite dry, southeasterly winds, quite cold southeasterly winds, quite chilly air coming over from Europe from uh, France and that. Unfortunately, this high pressure is trying to reach up to be high pressure, scanning and high, but it just won't make it, unfortunately. And it doesn't really get anywhere, unfortunately. And the low pressure is solar western is just going into the west, so it's definitely looking like a very solar westerly Christmas um, grey and probably quite mild Christmas across the UK, especially the northwestern parts of the UK, I'm afraid. That's that, 12 GFS. This is the upper. Yeah, upper air temperature across uh, Birmingham today. Red lines are 30 year average line. White lines where the temperature is going. The white line temperature at the moment is below average, as you can see there across Birmingham on the uh, 11th of December. But it does get up above average around the well, the 12th of December to the 15th of December from the uh, renamed the 11th of December. And uh, it stays quite mild. And it goes below it slightly up to get to towards the uh, 16th of December. But then it goes above average. Around about the 19th of December, then it goes below average on the um, wow well, around Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and it goes above it uh, as we get to the New Year. Then it goes below it as we get into the New Year, and probably goes to December into the New Year, so into January next year. You can see there's a lot of rainfall spikes down here. There's a big probably snow down here across the bit across the middle of Birmingham City. Then it go above it. Um, well, basically snow there, and it'll be rain until we get towards this point here. This period around about 19th December. And you can see it's more rainfall spikes in the future because so, um, you name it. Um, you know, this is the weather forecast weather town talking about southwesterly wind uh, tonight, quite uh, cold, and it has been to rain recently. And uh, you can see there, um, southwesterly wind, uh, high seven Celsius this morning, super mainly cloudy, quite cold, and Friday the same cold. You can see what the future is doing across Wellington town locally. You can see where we're going, it's going to turn cold and then for a while, then get mild as we go into the future across uh, Wellington town locally. And yeah. This is the, um, you name it, the Arctic Oscillation. When the Arctic Oscillation is going down here, uh, that means you've got high pressure over the northwest of the, of the UK, over Greenland, and over, uh, yeah, over Greenland, that's northern blocking, that means we've got high pressure over Greenland, over the Arctic. And this is the North Atlantic Oscillation, and when this is going negative, that means you've got high pressure over um, the northwest of the UK as well, or over Scandinavia. So we've got a chance of getting cold weather. We might get uh, beasts from the east as we get further into Christmas, maybe, because of this. Which is, it might be wrong, and this is the uh, floods across the UK at the moment. And you can see what we got. We got floods around here. We got uh, at least um, well, let's have a look. We got a lot of floods. Uh, we got um, at least you can see those are all the floods we've got across the UK. You count all the dots. Um, that's uh, a flood alert, and then this is all the flood uh, warnings. So it's not it's not too bad the flooding across the UK at the moment. Yeah, for England especially. And this is the ball report that's a doom at 30 HPA. So if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Looks like we've got the ball report that's doom. No chance of a yes is W. Bye.